I usually wake up around 4 a.m. in the morning and start my day off with a prayer. Of course, I get my Bible study in and my daily devotional before I go to the gym. So today, so today we're going to be, uh, we're going to be going to, uh, to, um, all right, see you guys later. Today, we are land hunting. We've been looking for land now for quite some time. We are going to be going down to South Illinois, about three hours away from Chicago, very close to an Amish town called Arthur. We are mainly looking to buy land so that we can live off-grid and self-sustaining. We also want to build kind of like a Bible school and a biblical lifestyle center. We'll see what the Lord has in store for us. This is our breakfast. This is something that he's not gonna eat, but only uh, the rest of the family here with teeth are gonna eat. And this is melons with uh, blackberries, walnuts, and uh, hemp seeds. And I put a little bit of honey on top. And so it's gonna be really good. Healthy breakfast here. Hold on, my friend. Hold on, hold on. Mmm. 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 You should try it. You should try it, babe. Hey, Mommy and Daddy. Hi, friends. My name is Jonathan. Um, today, I was the one that got up first. Usually, I'm the one that get up first. Uh, before the rest of my family. So, I make all the breakfast in the world. Today we are having melons, blackberries, and walnuts. And I put, I sprinkled a little bit of hemp seeds, and I put honey on top. Mmm, -hmm, it's delicious. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Please subscribe. My son really enjoys his fruits. Mommy, you want to go with mommy? Huh? Mommy, you want to go with mommy? The first property we saw was okay. It was on two acres of land next to a soybean field, and that house needed a lot of work. The second property we saw was very nice. Three acres of land next to the woods, but no septic, no well, and no power. So this is the property here. Yes. We're standing right at the corner of it. You're saying it's ours? Well, I mean, I love how close it is. Wow. I like this one. You know I like this one. You like this one? Yeah. The third property we saw was not even planned. Wow, so all this? The real estate agent left us there at the second property because he had another appointment. Five minutes later, he pulls back around. It turns out, his next appointment no-showed. Somehow, a way was made for us to see this third property. And the third property was perfect. There was already a well, septic, and power. Okay. Let's 
nice new placard on it here. It tells you exactly where, who did it. Finley Brothers out of Covington. I spoke to them. The well, is 67 feet deep, which, okay. which is pretty good. Um, they said it was one of the better producers they've had. Awesome. Man, I, th I think I like this one too. <laughs> oh, man. There's a lot, a lot of work. Work with moving. From that, you see that pole right there? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit below, a little bit um, here, all the way to the tree here, the trees over here, and then all the way to the houses over there. So it's a lot of room. It's a lot of room. Yeah, the house over there. So where you see the shorter trees here, that's close to the boundary. Uh, basically, it's all we did. This is the tree line here. It's a lot of room, baby. <laughs> Five acres is there a lot of land, yeah. especially when you're coming from a lot in town. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. On our way back home, we had to stop overnight and sleep at a church parking lot. Somewhere close to Arthur, Illinois. You guys have seen the land, three options, but I like the five acre one because then we can build kind of like a school there and it's unrestricted so we can do whatever we want. We could even put horses there, goats. Please pray for us. <laughs> trying to get this land here it's 49.5 50k fifty thousand dollars the family just woke up hey mama what are you guys doing fam <laughs> yeah no uh, of course my wife is also awake but She's uh doesn't want to be on camera. So that's all right. No? It's not all right? It's cuz her hair is poofy. But that's all right. Since we might be living close to this town, we decided to visit an Amish-owned antique store. Can I order something? Can I order something? <laughs> Can I get apples and cherries? <laughs> A-I-D-K <laughs> It was quite interesting. All right, so we're here at the uh, at the one of the places that the Amish Mama. people own, and we are gonna have Mama. hold up. We're gonna have a, we're gonna do a horse and buggy ride. You ready? Yeah, Mama. I'm ready. Are you ready? You guys ready? You ready, Elisha? You ready to go? Let's go. God called Abraham, he called him out of the city and into the country. 
And when God called Lot, he wanted him out of the city and into the country. In these end times, God is calling you and I out of the city and into the country. He said, come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon, out of the city and into the country, where you will find peace and quiet surrounded by God's creation and not man's creation. Our ultimate goal when it comes to purchasing land is to build something where we can have people come in two weeks at a time to get them used to God's lifestyle in the country so that when they start their own, they know what to do. If you want to support this project, please pray for us. We need lots of prayer. To support financially, you can donate at schoolforprofits.tv. Thank you and praise God always. That's me. My name is Tilla. Well, my real name is Jan. I'm a Bible documentary filmmaker, a husband, a father, and a Christian. But it wasn't always this way. I used to be a cold-hearted killer. I step into a cipher with a match and a tank of gas and set the whole place on fire. Yeah, imagine that.